Margie Sickle. Oh, Margie. Marjorie, Margie Sickle. Well, this is very, this is unbelievable, to tell you the truth. Unbelievable is right. I'm very touched, Jerry. Let me just say something here, Robin. You'll be interested in this. Jerry, good to see you. Margie, good to see you. Let me say something here. It seems amazing to me, Robin and Art, and people at home, that here it is, my sixth grade band. Margie, of course, a go-go girl. Jerry was the drummer. And I, of course, was a keyboard player. Why does Margie look scared to death? Margie, you look like really frightened. Well, Margie's an attorney now, right, Margie? Right. Yeah, she's not a go-go girl oh, she's anymore. she's an attorney. Well, we used to make Margie wear go-go boots. Does Just that tell you what's happening to her practice? <laughs> hey, listen, Art, what's going on with your career? Come here for a second, really. Let's tell talk me, for a here, second. Look at this right. guy. Oh, what the hell happened right. to you? Come here. Come hey, back Jerry. here, Art. Jerry. Look at the yeah. size of you. What's Jerry, going on I in wanna... retirement? Look at you, Not for God's sake. Take retired? care of yourself. What's wrong with you? You're making fun of Jerry and Margie. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Now, let me just say something about my old band, Electric Comic Book. Years ago, Robin, there were days that I would sit and turn to Electric Comic Book, and what I would say to them is, someday I will get us in 16 magazine. Someday Electric Comic Book would be a great band. Unfortunately, the band broke up before I could accomplish that. Well, why I can't we have a reunion? Yeah. A reunion of could the songs? Could you do one of your songs? Play I could do, sure, I could do that. that song. I could do that. I'd, I'd be honored. Margie, are you going to dance? Maybe a little. <laughs> what are the chords to this? I forget. <laughs> now, you were the keyboard artist. Yes, I was. And then Jerry played the drum. That's right. right. Here we go. Here, let's hit it. <laughs> hit it, Jerry. You, don't you remember how to do the opening of the song? No. Can Didn't you do a drum roll? drum roll? Thank you. It will be a certain oh, kind of thing that you'll always <laughs> want from me. It will be a certain kind of fruit. <laughs> Only given by the psychedelic bees. <laughs> and you want it so bad. Wait! This isn't working out. This isn't working out the right way. It didn't work out then either. There was a song called Psychedelic Bee that I wrote, but it, this, is, this is making a mockery of it. This is making a mockery of my music. Oh, dear. No, I, I think it's making a mockery of it. This is, this is a show gone amok. What are we doing? Rapping? What are you showing me the sign for? Show art. Art, are you in control of this? This is too much for my old heart. We can't go on like this. That was great. But up next, we're going to meet the women in Howard's Ooh. life. So stay right there. Yeah. Quick, hit it, Jerry. Hit it, Jerry. Oh. It will be a certain kind of thing that you'll always want from me. Certain fruit, only given by the one time decided that I should be more involved with him uh, athletically. So we decided I would go out in the backyard. We got two gloves and a baseball. And we got ready for a catch. And the first ball he threw at me hit me between the legs. Of course, I went down. And from that point on, we never were involved in, the, in, 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 in athletics. That was not the psychedelic bee, I'll tell you. Back with This is a Life, it's time to revisit Howard's early love life. But before we listen to this voice, let's listen to Marge, our go-go dancer. Well, Marge, you remember me as being a... Well, she was Margie, Art, not Marge. Maybe well, she's, she's a Marge a lawyer now. now. You're a lawyer now? Yes, I am. Wow, she's a lawyer. You see, she did good. She did real good. Well, well when know, she was dancing for you, Howard, and right. I don't know how you danced to that song. Well, when we had the band, you know, Robin, I'm sick and tired of this. That song is good. It's just you that couldn't the, even sing your own song, Jerry Howard. Jerry is not a professional drummer. I don't oh, think he'll take he any was throwing you off, I suppose. Jerry's and drums were a little loud in my head. I couldn't really pay too much attention. But Margie was the go-go dancer. Uh -huh. We would dress her up in white boots, because at that time, you needed dancers. Like the hullabaloo right. kind of dancer. Skirts, little, the white fashion boots oh. that were popular. And even at rehearsals, I would insist that Margie wore white boots Is and go-go right? yeah, go skirts. Be in full regalia. That's right. So Margie was the go-go girl. But now you're a lawyer and everything, and, and that's good. And Margie and I started a newspaper together. Really? In school. Right. We used to charge two cents for it. What was in it? Nothing. It was just, it was yeah. just garbage, <laughs> basically. And you were my campaign manager for sixth grade class president. You remember that? That was. I mean, Margie and I were, you know, we were tight like this. Oh. 
we of course, did. now I'm too big a star to be hanging around with anybody. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Just be hanging around with, I hang around now with celebrities like Art Fleming and this kind uh, of thing. Do you understand yeah. why I haven't called? I understand. Mm -hmm. I'm a very busy man. I have many, many duties now with my radio show, my television show, my various, various other projects. Yeah. Oh, sure. What, what, You're a big star. Project? Right. I'm a big star. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I can't hang out with Margie anymore, uh -huh. but she was a good childhood friend. How lucky can she get? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, is it, do you feel good knowing that you grew up with Howard Stern? Is that like a big topic of conversation among friends? A lot of people seem to be impressed, yes. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what is this? What, I got a tan this week? Look at my hand next to my face. I feel like I'm working with Philip Michael Thomas. Ralph, come out here for a minute, you maniac. <laughs> this is Ralph. I brought him in to do special makeup for me. This is the last time. Look at my hand and look at my face. You ought to take a bath, Howard. I mean, what the hell is going on here with my makeup on my big day and my big This Is Your Life, Howard, with well, Art Howard, Fleming? Well, Howard, now need... it's time for, I guess, to get back to Art because we're going to meet some of the women. Art, of smart. Your... I look like, a, I look like a mutant with this makeup. They didn't know they were sleeping with a black man, I guess. All right, let's get to the women. <laughs> yeah, but now we want you to listen to this voice, Howie. Howie, you always wanted to sleep with me. Do you remember the night in college you got drunk and ran around the dorm yelling that you loved me? <laughs> She's nuts. I know who that is. That's Rita. You don't remember the incident, though. No, no, no. I was, I was on something else. <laughs> I wasn't drunk. Mr. Chess, I'm drunk. Hey, there's Rita. Rita. Yeah, Rita. Rita. Yeah, Rita. Yeah. Yeah. Rita. Rita. yeah. <laughs> Hi, Rita. Yes, Howard, you wanted to sleep with her, but you never did. Here, Rita, Your take a seat. Your old friend from Boston University, Rita Karasik. Uh, Karasik. They told me Karasik. You are some announcer. They said Karasik, right? Alex Trebek is laughing right now, I'm Pardon? telling you. Karasik. It's okay. all right, Alex. They told me an incorrect, and I apologize. I'm sorry that I'm connected with I think and I'm leaving. It hurt my feelings. Oh, Rita's mic? Yes, okay. Mike. Let me just say something about Rita. No, here's the thing. I knew her since I was young. And she's I, very pretty. I was, she's really pretty, and I was always very attracted to her. To make love to her would have been an honor, Robin. But wasn't she the girlfriend of a good friend of yours? She was, a she was the girlfriend of my friend, Dr. Lou Weinstein. Yes. And I would go over her house every day and beg her for sex. <laughs> and she'd say, well, I'm going out with your best friend. I said, he's not here now. <laughs> and she never would have sex with me. A you never would. blue friend. Rita, was there ever a time, seriously, that you ever considered actually sleeping with this yo-yo? No, 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 there wasn't. There was one time I got her up in her attic. I had heard from my friend that, you know, they went up there and they had intimate moments. See, we're just kissing and stuff. I was hoping for more. So I got you up to your attic, but you wouldn't do anything with me. You I thought the her. attic was the spot. I think you once kissed me, but I begged you for like an hour. Is that right? I don't remember. Tell everybody how sorry you are now that you never paid attention to me, because out of all the losers you, you ever dated... It? What? Does she regret it now? Rita, tell everyone, please. Because think about Mrs. Howard Stern. <laughs> All right, I'm not the most attractive guy. And probably if you, <laughs> if you married me, if you had married me, you probably would have been miserable sexually your whole life because you wouldn't be with a man you were attracted to. But at the same point, Mrs. Howard Stern, TV show. This is all mine. Radio show. <laughs> Radio show. Do you ever regret it? Look at me. I'm not that bad. I, except for my makeup. I don't. <laughs> and my nose. No, I don't, I don't regret it. You don't I regret don't. it. You told I mean, me you did think I, about it. I, now I would think about it. She regrets so. it. She <laughs> regrets it. Tell me, come Deep on. Deep down. Compare, <laughs> all right, compared to all the losers, seriously, all the loser guys. Look at me. I'm successful. There's Are you loser. married now? All right, no, we're going to be listening to another woman from Howard's past. We can't just devote it to just one lovely, charming, I, elegant more? lady. Oh, there are more and more and more. <laughs> but we'll be back after this. <laughs> Howard claimed on his radio show that he saw me dancing naked. And I, I swear, I'm not, I haven't been aware of this at all. He must have been looking under my door, or there must have been a crack. And if it did happen, I would have been around 10 years old, and he would be about five. So I don't know why he feels this is such a great story, what's so wonderful about it. But I guess for a five-year-old to see somebody naked, I guess he was excited about it. I don't know. <laughs> Just it was a very good year. Yes. Right. What? Your agent. He's still steaming. He's still steaming. What's happened to Fleming's career? Anyway, we're back to This is a Life.